Hey you guys, I am back with another video. This is my custom Rose Girls order from June 2014. So before I get into it, I am going to start off this video by saying, you know, what I thought about the ordering process and all that kind of stuff. If you don't want to watch it, look at your screen right now and there should be like a big timestamp that says skip to this time for the haul. So if you don't want to listen to me ramble, just go ahead and skip it. It's not going to hurt my feelings, but I always kind of like to start off these videos with kind of just how the order came to be and what I thought about the ordering process. So Rose Girls, they opened in June. Uh, for those of you that are new to the wax world, you may hear people say something like, oh, they were open for five or six minutes, and you're thinking, well, they're exaggerating because there's no way they would only be open for five to six minutes, but they're not exaggerating. I think that they were open maybe for, it might have been like six or seven minutes when they opened in June. It was an announced opening, so Jenny had said, I'm going to open you know, at this date at this exact time. And let me tell you right off the bat, I absolutely loved that kind of opening versus the silent opening. Because for silent openings, they're stressful. And I'm not going to lie that the first time I ordered from Rose Girls, it was a silent opening. And that night, like once the ordering window opened, I had my alarm set like every hour starting at midnight. I was checking my iPad like a mad woman throughout the entire day. Like I barely couldn't have a life. I wasn't focusing on anything else other than refreshing my iPad until they opened that that afternoon it was like maybe 4 or 5 p.m. so losing like that much amount of your life to a silent opening I just don't like it it's like I really wanted to enjoy my day you know rather than stocking an opening so the fact that this one was announced I thought was fabulous and then also um, Jenny said she was gonna take you know like a certain amount of orders I don't know what the number is let's just say 250 so the one thing I do like about that is that it kind of evens the playing field now I I have before in the past placed um, fairly large orders. I am one of the guilty people. Occasionally, I will place very large orders with companies. So I'm not trying to call out anybody in particular or people that place large orders. But I did like the fact that it even the playing field because if you had a really large order, um, you know, and you built up your registry on Rose Girls, there was a chance you might not get your order in in time. So it kind of I think encouraged people that place large orders to whittle them down. And then assuming everybody is pretty fast in their computers and has good you know internet then the people with the small orders had a good chance of getting in right off the bat, getting their order in before the people with the larger order. So hypothetically, if it worked out perfectly, the smaller orders would end up nearer to the beginning, get pumped out faster, and they don't have to wait for their turnaround time to get you know elongated because the large orders are getting poured first. You guys know what I'm saying? Now, I know that some of the smaller orders ended up later, obviously with internet speed and everyone's personal you know, speed on their computers or phones or whatever was going to be different. But I kind of thought that that was good. Now, with Rose Girls, you make a registry. And at the very beginning, when I was plotting this order, my registry was, you know, like 12, 15 pages long. Um, you know, it had bags and pies and all sorts of stuff. And then on the Rose Girls page, people were putting up, you know, comments like, hey, how big is your registry? And I noticed that the average registry size was probably around like four pages. And there's three items per page, I think. So that comes up to about 12 items. So maybe like, let's say 12 to 15 items was about the average of what people were saying that their order was. So then I was like, well, wait a minute. Like I said, if the average person has an order, you know, of a, a, the registry is this big and they all get their orders in before me, then there's a chance I'm not going to get my order in at all. So I took that 10 to 12 page registry and I just started whittling it down, whittling it down. And what I ended up doing was placing an order only for pies, because if I could only get, you know, I, I got myself down to a five page registry, 15 items. And I said, if I can only get 15 items ordered from this opening, I want the most bang for my buck that there is. And for me, it's the pies. I think the two pound loaves are either the exact same size, maybe or even slightly bigger, but either the two pound loaf or the pie is your best option for the most wax you can get for a single item on your registry. So that's what I did. Um, and then, yeah, so anyways, I thought that that was actually a really good idea. So the only way if you were going to get a super large order in was you had to be fast and you're probably going to end up near the end or you had to place your order with like two separate orders and have a friend help you out or something like that it was really the only way to do it. But I thought announcing the opening was a great equalizer for everybody to get in and place an order. And actually, I think after this opening... I didn't see as many negative comments, you know, like, oh, I didn't get my order in as I did after the silent opening. So I think for the most part, if you wanted to get an order in and you were quick about it, you had a pretty good shot of getting it in. Um, I know Jenny recently asked for any kind of comments about what can Rose Girls do better in 2015. And one of the things that I said was, please, please, please keep the announced openings. Silent openings, like, they are kind of fun, but when it really comes down to it, losing... <laughs> 
losing productivity and you know, your life for whatever amount of time you're stocking that silent opening is just frustrating. Yes, you do want the wax. Yes, it's fun, but it's just frustrating. You know, like I want to live my life, not be glued to a electronic device to see when a silent opening is going to open. So they announced openings. I'm all for them. I think it's a great way for people to have similar sized orders, hopefully, and stuff like that. So that was the order. Now, when I, okay, here's the thing. So this order consists of 15 pies. Um, Jenny also for the last couple, you know, groups that she has put up has said that since the turnaround time is taking a little bit longer and everything like that, that you are allowed to swap up to five items, either five bags or five pies or lows or any kind of combination of those, you know, and you can, and you can change the scent. And I thought that was really good because between when I got my order in December, when I ordered in June, things, you know, have kind of changed. I'm not into some things as much now that I was in the summer or things like that. So I think that that was a really awesome option for her to do because the turnaround time is I think this is probably the longest I've seen Rose Girls go so she opened in June and I think Jenny said she's probably not going to be able to open again until February so you're looking at about a seven to eight month turnaround time you know for some of these orders so if you want Rose Girls you you're going to have to be patient and that's totally fine with me if that's kind of the way it is you know that going in but it's I think before Jenny was probably hoping to have maybe three openings a year. Now it really looks like maybe two custom openings a year at the most. But if the turnaround time starts going out to eight months, then you're really looking at some years only one custom opening a year. Um, and then of course she does samplers and everything like that. So you kind of have to keep that in mind as well. But I really like the option of switching out five cents. I did that with this order um, and I'm going to switch out five with the second part of my order. So that's kind of how the opening was. Now, Seven minutes into this video, I'm still talking about the opening. So how the opening was for me, um, in June, when Rose Girls opened, I was actually on vacation in London. And at the time, I was like, well, I'm going to miss out on the opening. You know, but I was like, well, wait a minute. So I looked at my itinerary, and I had one day where we were going to walk to the British Museum and then come back and then go out again in the evening. And the opening was at like 4 p.m. Um, London time or something like that. So I said, well, I just swapped two days on the itinerary. And I said, well, just go to the British Museum that day. So we woke up, we went to the British Museum, we came back. I was back in the hotel room by like, you know, 3.30 or something. Had enough time to relax, get my stuff fired up to place the order. And then we were going to head out right afterwards. So it worked out perfectly um, that I didn't really have to miss out on anything on my vacation in London. Um, but I just had to swap two days. So that was really easy. Now, I wasn't sure. The Wi-Fi at the hotel was really good. But I, I placed an order on my iPad. And I had my husband back me up um, and place an order on his iPad. And a lot of the pies, maybe two thirds of the pies, I wanted doubles in. Um, but when I added them to my registry, when I moved my registry to the cart, the ones that I had multiples in for some reason didn't go multiples in the cart. So I had like two in my registry, but when I added it to the cart, it only came out to be one. And at the time I was like, I do not have time to go back in and change this. So I put my order in, um, you know, as fast as I could. And then my husband was kind of going a little bit slower. He had to like actually enter in, you know, like our full shipping address. It took him a little longer. And then he's looking at me, he's like, what do you want me to do? And then I was thinking, well, you know, I really want to double the pies in a lot of these. So I said, place the order. So he ordered two. So I actually have two orders for a total of 30 pies. I put in for the opening that were 15 blends, only two of every single blend in two pies. Does that make sense? <laughs> two pies per blend. So total of 30. Um, so that's actually what happened. And it, I actually messaged Jenny afterwards and I said, since these two orders are exactly the same, I said, I am totally fine if you want to move my first order later to meet up with the second order and just pour it all at once. Because it kind of made more sense to me for Jenny to make it easier to kind of pour two pies in the same scent rather than one pie in the scent. And then like a couple months later, have to pour it again. So I told her that and she was like, okay, that's fine. So when I got, when she, my name came up on the last batch of orders, I thought it was for all 30 pies because I thought she moved me later, but it turns out she didn't. So this is only my first order of the 15 pies and then my second 15 pies. I am sure I was probably at the very end, so I probably won't get those until February. And I am planning on swapping out five of the cents um, when my name comes around for the next time. So yes, that is everything, I think. It's like we 10 minutes to talk about this, so... I'm glad I put that timestamp at the beginning for people that want to skip over that because that was a little bit lengthy. So anyways, this haul is 15 pies total, 15 pies more to come. And I'm really excited about that. I am still, I mean, I know that Rose Girls, you know, it's very competitive to get in. I still am hoping to get an order in at the next custom opening. I know some of you are probably going to start thumb th thumbs downing the video like, ah, I got you, greedy, greedy person. But um, 
I, there's a, just a couple scents I think I want more of, and then I also bought a couple gift certificates when Jenny did the Black Friday gift certificate sale, so I've got like some money there that I need to spend on Rose Girls in the year of 2015, or otherwise I lose all the money I spent on the gift certificate. So that also there is another reason why I have to place an order in 2015. I could also use it for samplers or for a personal shopper to go to the store, but you know, anyways, it'll work out. Oh my gosh, 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Wow, that is just a lot of talking. Okay, um, so anyways, let me get into the let me get into the samples first. And this first sample here is one, um, I got a variation on this one in my sampler box. This one is Christmas Past and Marshmallow Smoothie. I had gotten the Christmas Past and I think Vanilla B. Noel version, and that one was really awesome. And this one is really good too. Now this one does have a little bit more of a intense sweetness, I would say, maybe because of the Marshmallow Smoothie versus the Vanilla B. Noel, but it's a really nice pine scent, but that marshmallow smoothie is pretty strong in there. So it's kind of like tempering down the pine a little bit, but I really do enjoy that one. Even though it's after Christmas, I'm, I still love pine scents year round. This next one is one that I don't think I've seen before, Cotton Candy Supreme. I wish I knew what was in here because it smells just divine when I smelled it. Oh my gosh, it's just cotton candy. And is there grape in here? I swear there's some kind of fruit in here. I think it's grape. It's very sweet, very sugary fun. So if I can figure out what is in that scent description, I would consider getting a pie in that um, when the rest of my order comes around in February. This next one here is Lemon Poppy Seed Birthday Cake. How can you go wrong? I love Lemon Poppy Seed. It is like the perfect bakery scent, um, well, perfect lemon bakery scent to me because it's not too tart. It's not too sweet. Now, this one is pretty sweet. And this one, along with the birthday cake, this is coming across to me more like an iced lemon cookie kind of scent than a more like cakey kind of scent that smells very cookie-ish to me but uh, that is still like a really nice strong lemon scent this next one here is um badger state cocoa i'm sorry i should have looked up scent descriptions for the samples but i just did not uh that is definitely a nice strong chocolate scent it smells minty it smells like a chocolate mint cookie i don't know if there is mint in there but um the chocolate in there is pretty strong, and I'm not a huge fan of chocolate in a fragranced wax form. Um, this next one here is Sweet Pumpkin Bread with Cream Cheese Frosting. And I'm excited for this one because um, I've never really blended cream cheese frosting myself, and I really want to see how it goes with a lot of other scents. And this one is really good. Um, it, unfortunately, it's something that I think I would have liked melting a little bit more before Thanksgiving because it definitely has that you know Thanksgiving pumpkin scent. But it is a really, really good blend, and it's very warm and inviting. You know, something to melt, like, when you just want your home to smell like home. I mean, it still smells amazing. Don't get me wrong, but it's just, I'm not as much into pumpkin scents right now. And then this next one here is Frosted Orange Danish Bear Claws. And this one I'm really excited about. I don't know if the frosted, what the frosted is. And I'm pretty sure that this is like a mini pie that Kathy... You know, the Kathy, who is the original, I believe, founder and owner of Rose Girls, and you know, she's passed on the business to Jenny, her daughter, but Kathy will still pour things. So I'm wondering if this is Kathy's handwriting, because like these kinds of pies, and then there's a couple other things Kathy will pour only for the store, I think. This one smells absolutely amazing. The orange Danish in here is really nice and strong, very zesty. And you still can get like that flaky kind of bakery scent of the bear claws with a little bit of a cinnamon. I'm not getting like super strong cinnamon, just like a touch of it, but it's just like a really, really nice blend. I don't know what the frosted is, if that's like vanilla be Noel or, or what, but um, yeah, those bakery scents are coming through nice and strong. Okay, so I'm getting here into the 15 pies, which this actually should not take too long, but I didn't remove any of the pie slices, so I'm going to have to crinkle a bit here. So the first one, maybe we should do a guessing game because for those of you that know your Rose Girls really well, anybody guess what this is? Um, this is the famous Blueberry Hill. And there's some, some people on Facebook that absolutely adore the scent. And the love for it was so great. I was like, even though I had never smelled it before, I was like, I'm going to order that in two pies. I know that seems kind of silly. But um, I said, either I'm going to love it, or if I don't love it, then it will be easily de to somebody who will love it. Because this one is a really popular scent. And I just absolutely love how this color combination looks with the pink and the blue. Um, I had to break that one off there a little bit. So that is what this one looks like. So this one here is Booberry and I believe Frankenberry. I don't really know what Frankenberry is. Booberry is like blueberry and strawberry, although the blueberry 
is much stronger in blueberry, I think, than the strawberry. This one smells amazing. You can get the blueberry. It's a really good blueberry note, and you can kind of just get like a nice, really strong, whatever that frankenberry is. I don't know how to describe it because I don't know what it is, but you can also get the tones of the strawberry, but there's nothing in here that comes across as like tart. It's just a very smooth berry fruit note. It is really, really good. And once again, I think that's one of the prettiest color combinations I have seen for a Rose Girls uh, wax. So that is Blueberry Hill. Um, I will probably get a second pie in that when my uh, second part of my order comes. Now this next one here, some of you eagle-eyed people can probably recognize from looks alone, the famous cinnamon glazed oranges. And this is a secret Rose Girls blend. Um, but I think their official description is the simple elegance of zestful slices of cool orange drizzled with a warm, savory cinnamon glaze. So I got this mostly with my husband in mind because um, while I do like a good cinnamon scent, he loves cinnamon scents. And orange, we both like orange, but this kind of just screams my husband. That's something he would really like. And it does smell really good. And, and now the orange in here, it's not quite like a true orange scent. There almost smells like there is, not bakery, but there's something else in here besides just like orange. Um, and then tempered with that cinnamon in here, which is just, it's really, really good. It's really good. And I did melt a little bit of a cinnamon glazed oranges, and this one had a decent throw. So that one um, does pretty darn good. Now, when I get my second order, I will probably substitute this out for something else because this is something that's more for my husband and I melt more for me 90% of the time. So I'm probably better off getting another pie and something I like. I really like. What'd you say? Hey. My husband said, hey. I did get that for him. That's your pie. He's nodding. It doesn't make sense because you can't see him, but he's over there nodding. But anyways, I do like the scent. He loves the scent. So that's kind of the difference there. <clears throat> now this next one here is strawberry jam cream cake. Oh, I forgot to have you guys try to guess what it is. Boo, sorry. Okay, this one is strawberry jam cream cake. And this one is kind of like, I have fond memories of it because when um, I got my first de-stash or one of my first de-stashes from Kirby, she had half a pie in there. I think it was in this scent or a scent very similar to this one. And it is a really good scent. And let me tell you too, some of those pie slices I kept for over a year and they still threw pretty well after the year points. So I was like, that kicks some ass. So strawberry jam cream cake. This is another one of the really popular ones. This is strawberry jam and strawberries and cream. Amazing, very sweet, but smooth strawberry, nice strong strawberry, no artificial strawberry note, just very, very sweet. And it's almost reminiscent of like a strawberry milkshake, but without the milk smell, if that makes any sense. You're like wondering, well, that doesn't make any sense. But just imagine that creamy, smooth strawberry that is exactly what this is. And yes, like I said, if this one throws like that other one did that I got in that de-stash, then I will be extremely, extremely happy with it. Um, Rose Girls is pretty well known for having really good strawberry scents. I don't think I've come across a strawberry from them that I have not liked at all. Okay, now let's see here. Some of these are more custom-y blends that you guys may not recognize the color, but somebody may recognize this one for this one here. So it's pink and it's red. So yes, it is a strawberry scent for those of you that um, that may not know. There's a bit closer up. Any guesses, anybody? This one here is strawberry euphoria. So this one here is another it's another like secret blend. Um, this is a truly a euphoric blend of strawberries. If you like strawberries, then you need to have this in your life. I like this too because coming around to Valentine's Day, doesn't this just scream Valentine's Day? I mean, come on, it's a very romantic looking piece of wax. And it smells amazing. Now this one has more of a fresh strawberry smell than that strawberry jam cream cake, which was like more sweet. This one is a little bit more fresh, but it's just, but it's also sweet and also almost a little tart. So I don't know what kind of strawberries are in here, but this is a really good, more straight fruit strawberry note without the bakery scent. So this one is, um, I absolutely love how that one smells. Cannot wait to melt that one. Plus, like I said, the colors, they're so cute. Okay, now this next one here is another one of their popular blends that somebody may be able to recognize. Any guesses, anybody? I think this is a newer blend for them, maybe one that came out just last year, in 2014, I'm not sure. So this is strawberry key lime, a uh, strawberry lime fluff. Sorry, strawberry lime fluff. 
And this one is strawberry jam and Florida key lime pie chunks with marshmallow smoothie over pour. And this one, I've melted it a couple times and I've got it in a sampler. I love this scent, decent throw, just, just really, really, really fabulous. Once again, that sweet strawberry, that zesty kind of more in your face key lime scent. And that smoothness and the sweetness of the marshmallow smoothie. Now the marshmallow smoothie doesn't necessarily stand out in here a whole heck of a lot because the strawberry and the key lime is like very strong. But I'm sure the marshmallow smoothie is in there doing its thing. I just don't exactly know what the thing is, but it's in there. But yeah, I, I adore this scent. And this was one of the ones I substituted out for because this is a scent that I, I think I started melting a little bit more after June and then I really wanted um, to get it. So that's just another example of like why being able to swap out five of the scents is just a really awesome idea as your scent you know preferences change throughout the year. Now this next one here is another Rose Girls blend um, that's fairly popular. So somebody may recognize this one too. And this is one of the only ones in here that's not a bakery scent. So this is a custom blend, clean and refreshing. For those of you that don't know, it's Singing in the Rain. And I did melt this one time before. I love the scent. Once again, good throw. I was very happy with it. It was a really good piece of wax. And it just it just screams spa. I mean, from the nice, like, ice blue kind of greenish colors and the, the nice, like, pastel ivory color. It smells amazing. It smells like what I think a really, really good shampoo would smell like. It's, it's clean. It is fresh. It's slightly floral. It's just amazing. It is a really, really good set. Now, Rose Girls is probably best known for their, um, what do you call it, their bakery blends. But uh, they do have a couple knock it out of the park, you know, kind of like spa fresh blends. And that Singing in the Rain is one of them for sure. Okay, now this next one here is a custom blend that I did. And you guys are not going to be able to name it from the colors of the wax alone. But this one is like one of my all-time favorite types of blends. And it is the Vanilla Bean Noel, Baked Zucchini Bread, and Monster Cookie. Now, I, have been, I haven't found a good place to store the wax. So it's been kind of piled up in a box. And I've noticed, I think, the pressure of all the wax on the pies, like on the bottom, I have kind of started to like make it crumble a little bit. So I definitely need to find some good storage for this afterwards. Because it's a Rose Girls pie. Like, it needs to be treated like a lady and put away gently on like a felt pillow or something like that, right? So anyway, so this is the zucchini bread one and I love this blend. I love sweet zucchini bread. So mixing up the monster cookie with the baked zucchini bread just makes it just so sweet. And then also, oh my goodness, the vanilla bean noel, which is also like a cookie kind of scent. Now I've also done variations of this where it's like baked zucchini bread, like a cookie and then a marshmallow smoothie. That also smells really good too. But this one is really, really good. It's probably a shade stronger on the cookie scents than it is on the zucchini bread scent. So maybe a lesson learned for me going forward. Next time I'll try the marshmallow smoothie version without the vanilla bean Noel, but that still smells amazing. And once again on hot, you're not gonna know what it's gonna smell like on hot. That zucchini bread may just come like right through. You know, you're not, who knows? I'm just excited to melt it. Now this next one is also another custom blend that I did. So the colors are all um, from this blend and it is Orange Revival Baked Zucchini Bread and Lemon Poppy Seed Cake. Uh, once again, I love Lemon Poppy Seed. I think it's a really good bakery lemon scent. Their Orange Revival is a very like straight up kind of um, zesty orange scent. And what they call it is, here's what they call it, rejuvenate your energy with this invigorating citrus bouquet that opens with a burst of sweet oranges and heightens the exhilaration with tangy tangerines. Um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, anyway, so it's supposed to smell like an orange grove. So Orange Revival is like probably one of my favorite orange scents just because it is so in your face and it's very strong. I've blended it before. It's just really, really good. And this one is really, really good. Um, their lemon poppy seed cake actually does more smell like an iced lemon cookie scent. So it's a little bit different than I think the lemon poppy seeds I've smelled before. So, but the orange in this one tempers down that very strong lemon scent. And you can get like just the bakery notes, like just bakery notes kind of coming out of this. It's just really good. It's, it's like, let me see. So I'll let you guys look at the scent description again. Um, it's kind of like 60% fruit, 40% like some kind of bakery note. I don't think the baked zucchini bread is coming across like as zucchini bread as it, it's just kind of all coming together between the zucchini bread and the cake scent as kind of just like a bakery scent. But it is really, really good. And once again, who knows what this is going to smell like once you melt it. Cold throw and hot throw are completely different um, types of things. Although that's not really throw. That's just like 
the scent. The scent itself could change between hot and cold because it does that. Okay, now here's another pie that is a Rose Gross blend that is pretty popular. So somebody may be able to recognize this one. This is from their Mario line. Um, if you guys want a hint there, if anyone is actually trying to guess at home. Is anybody actually playing along with this game? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, so this one here is Bodacious Bowser. And when I was actually plotting this order, I was uh, reaching for a lot of my Rose Girls the week before to melt it, to see how the throw was, uh, what, I, what I thought of the scents on hot. And this is one of the ones that I threw a chunk in. And I was like, this one's really good. And I'm like, I do need this in a pie because this one is, is awesome. So what um, Bodacious Bowser is, it's Dunk My Donut, Monster Cookie, Waffle Cone, and a surprising twist of green apple. I'm not necessarily the biggest apple scent person. But I'm really digging this. And coming into the fall and the winter, I've been really digging on apple scents. It is a really nice apple, but it's also sweet. It's crisp and green, you know, like, but it's also like a sweeter version. It doesn't smell like, um, like the really tart Granny Smith apple, which is a green apple. But all the other stuff in here, the cookie, the waffle cone, the dunk my donut, it's just all blending together in a really nice overall warm, comforting scent with that... It's like fresh, last, sweet apple, I think, in there. It's a really, really good scent. And this one also had a decent throw. So I am definitely excited to get a whole pie in that. I will probably substitute that one out for something else in my second order because I don't feel the need to have two pies in that. Um, one pie should do it. Okay, this next one here is, I think this is, it's a blend that, should, that you know, that it's not a Rose Girls like secret blend, but it is a blend I believe that they sold um, together like as the pie. So somebody may be able to recognize this one. This is just Pink Lemon Noel. So pink sugar, a vanilla bean Noel, and the lemon. I don't know what the lemon in here is, if it's like a lemon cake or a lemon cookie. I'm not completely sure, but I do think that they had this one up for order, like already blended, that you could just like order this pie. And that is what it looks like there. Oh, this is so good. You know, pink sugar with citrus scents like lemon and orange. It really does so well at just bringing out some of the qualities of the pink sugar that's kind of hard to explain. This one just smells absolutely amazing. And the pink sugar is the strongest note. And then the lemon. The vanilla bean Noel is kind of like laying the base, I think, for the other two. This one does not come across as like a really strong cookie scent from that vanilla bean Noel. It comes across as a very nice, like, citrusy um, pink sugar scent. So that one is really good. And you guys probably know if you watch my videos that I am a huge fan of pink sugar. So I'm reaching into my box back here to grab. Oh, oh no. Pies overboard. They didn't actually go overboard, but the box almost fell off the thing. That would be bad. Okay, this next one here is another Rose Girls blend that somebody may be able to guess. Any guesses? It's ooey gooey crackers and i got this one in a bag um from a personal shopper that went to the store for me and i didn't ask for this stuff but she sent it and, and you know i loved it and it was so interesting because i really do like scents that are a little bit more dimensional than just like a sweet scent and the cracker scent in here to me just it adds a different it adds a different note to it i think it's a little drier it's just, I don't know, it's just, it's a little different, but I really like it. So, ooey gooey crackers is ooey gooey caramel and graham crackers. And you can kind of get like that scent, like the cinnamon a little bit. It's just a really kind of nice scent, probably more like fall-ish than anything else. So, but anyways, I do really like that one. And if you guys are looking for something that's a little bit beyond just like a cake scent, I would go for that one because the graham cracker scent in there is just, is really nice. Okay, so I've got a couple more pies in here. Oh no, some of them got a little squish from the other pies on top of it. Oh, the pies on pies. Okay, now this next one here, somebody is going to be able to recognize for sure. Probably their most popular blend, so I'm sure everyone's probably already thinking Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs, because yes, that is what it is. And I'm going to get a second pie in this with my second order of the 15 um, pies, because yes, I want more Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs. Now, for the life of me, I can't remember what the blend is. I think it's Monster Cookie and Marshmallow Smoothie. But if I'm wrong, somebody please correct me because I don't exactly remember. But this is a great cookie scent. There are a couple vendors that have outstanding cookie scents. And this is one of them. Really, really good. It doesn't smell artificial. It smells like a cookie. Now, what kind of cookie? I don't know. It's not chocolatey. It's maybe... And it's not... It's not quite as a simple straight note as a sugar cookie, but... 
I'm not exactly sure what kind of cookie it's supposed to be, but it just smells maybe so, sort of like a sugar cookie. I'm not sure, but it just smells absolutely amazing. Very sweet. This one I've melted before has thrown pretty decently for me when I've melted it before. So I knew that that one is a good piece of wax. Definitely excited to have that other pie of it. Sorry, there's like pies and pies over there. Stuff falling all over the place. Okay, this next one here is um, another Rose Girl kind of blend. So somebody else may be able to recognize this one. I'm actually melting this one right now. And it is another caramel scent, Death by Caramel. And I think that this one is like a, it's ooey gooey caramel with Southern creme brulee overpour. Creme brulee, that's like that one, that dessert that has like that hard topping. It's like custard dish, right? With a hard topping, like, like you take a torch to and you kind of brulee it at the top. Okay, sorry, got a piece out there. So that's what this one is here. So um, Death by Caramel, caramel chunks with Southern creme brulee overpour. I love this one. This one just smells so, so happy. And I can also, I know I'm smelling it in here, but it's all in the air right now because I'm melting it right over there. And my husband really loves how this one smells too. Just so, so good. Thick, gooey, sweet. Oh, just absolutely amazing. So, Death by Caramel. I was really excited to get that one. Okay, two more pies left here. And I think um, they are both custom blends. No, actually, well... This one actually is not, I, well, is it? Somebody may be able to recognize this one. Now this one was not offered as like a pie, but I blended it to match what they already have as a blend. They call it strawberry bread. So, which is just strawberry jam, baked zucchini bread and marshmallow smoothie. I am pretty sure, I may have that wrong, not 100% certain, but when I was blending this, I was trying to make it match the strawberry bread scent that they sell, because it is a really, really good scent. Once again, the strawberry scents are amazing. This one is a little bit more of like, it's strawberry jam, but it's, it's somewhere between a fresh and a sweet strawberry. It's not overly sweet. You can get the um, baked zucchini bread in here actually a little bit stronger than I was able to get it in some of the other zucchini bread blends. Just smells so, so good. So I'm really, really excited about that one. The basically strawberry bread scent. And then the last one here is, oh shoot, I'm dropping stuff all over the place in this box. Um, it's a custom blend that I did, so I don't think... Oh, no, it's not a custom blend. This is another one of their blends, so somebody may be able to recognize that one there. Hint, it is from the... Uh, what do you call it? What am I trying to say? The Mario. It was from... It's one of the Mario blends. This one is Wickedly Wonderful Wario, which is Purple Cow, Sicilian Lemon Cookies, and Cup of Cake Over Pour. Purple Cow, for those of you that are newer to wax, it's a grape scent. It's like grape and vanilla ice cream, but mostly just like a fairly sweet grape scent. And um, I'm really into grape, actually. I've been into grape for a while, and I haven't gotten tired of it yet. So, so lemon, grape, and then cup of cake overpour. This one is so, so good. So, so good. The lemon is probably a tad bit stronger than the grape. Once again, anytime you see, like, lemon cookie scent, it's a very direct scent. It goes, like, straight to your nose. It's one of the first ones that you'll smell. But the purple cow in here, that grape, definitely kind of like smooths it out a little bit. And then the cup of cake in here is really nice. I wish I knew what cup of cake smelled like on its own compared to, you know, like some of the... I think cup of cake is a yellow cake scent. And I am getting, you know, obviously like a sweetness from this. I don't know if I'm necessarily smelling the cup of cake. But it's definitely really, really good. So, yes. That is it. Sorry, this is not the prettiest video because there's just like wax pies everywhere and I didn't take it out and I don't have like a good end shot of everything all together so maybe I have to take a picture of something here but anyways you guys that is it that is the um whole order for my order from June you know obviously the second order of 15 pies is still yet to come the main problem I'm gonna have is finding a home for all of these pies because um I don't know the best way to store them and I don't want to pile like a whole lot of like wax on wax you know what I'm saying because I don't know. I'm just going to have to kind of figure it out. I'm actually out of storage room too. So that's also causing a problem. I don't know what I'm going to do. So when I originally bought all these pies, you can see a lot of them were like the Rose Girls blends already. And the reason I did that, I said, I was thinking to myself, these blends are popular for a reason. So even if I hadn't smelled them, I knew that I would probably like them. And if I didn't, they would easily find a good home with somebody that would love them. But unfortunately for everybody, I like slash, no, I love, you know, like or love all of these. They're all really, really good. And I don't see myself with parting, um, parting with any of these for a while. 
Yes, I'm probably just gonna hoard them all like smog in um, The Hobbit. So I'm gonna sit there like on my Rose Girls pies. <laughs> just be like, go to sleep on them like they're all mine. But anyways, I love this order. I am just very happy with it. Crossing my fingers that the custom order opening in February is gonna be an announced opening. I really hope Jenny um, will do that for all of us. I think as a general rule, the majority of the people really like the opening that way. If you haven't gotten your hands on Rose Girls Wax, keep an eye out. Join their Facebook group page. Keep an eye out for when they're going to announce the next opening. They do occasional flash sales as well, and they also open up for samplers about two times a year, or at least they did in 2014. So you can get your hand on the wax. You have to be persistent, and you have to be prepared. Know what you already want going in if you're doing a custom you know, order. Get it in your registry and be prepared to get in there fast and just knock it out. So anyways, I hope that you guys had a great holiday and are going to have a good New Year's. I should get this up before the 31st or on the 31st. So have a really good New Year's, everybody. And let's just all go into 2015 and have a good time. All right, you guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.